I'm running the AH4 on a switch. So I've got a vertical and the AH4 coming through and then I just literally switch it in, tune it up and then I'm tuned. Uh, the problem I had was previously I'd have to pull out the four pin connector at the back all the time when I wanted to switch over between the vertical and the AH4. So the easiest thing now is I can flick it over to the right uh, antenna there, bring in the tuner, tune it up and away you go. That makes it so much easier just by having this switch and, and all it is is just uh, a switch looped through where it just uh, disconnects. So how does the AH4 perform? Well it does actually perform really well. Now I have a combination of a vertical antenna and the long wire antenna which is connected to the AH4, the ICOM AH4. It doesn't work well all the time so sometimes I've got to flick over to the vertical to try and see what I can get at a particular time. Because it is a horizontal antenna that I've got strung out across the yard it is propagating into the ionosphere and then down again so the vertical is actually just going to shoot off into the horizon. So there are different types of characteristics that the different antennas that I'm using do actually uh, perform. If I had it uh, across the yard in an A-frame configuration, then the signal might actually be a different circumstance. And it all does depend on where you are, how you've put up your antenna, and what other conditions are around at the time. So I'm in a suburban backyard and I'm limited by the amount of space I have. So in summary, it's a very good tuner that will tune up any piece of wire, uh, but I use it as a combination, so if you have that luxury of being able to use it with a, an antenna switch, so you can switch out to another antenna at the, at the same time, that's the ideal combination. If you just had to use it as one antenna source, well sometimes, different times of the day, you're just not going to get out. And I've seen that. Um, sometimes I'm on FT8 at uh, 50 watts and I can get all over the world, then about 10 minutes later it's gone and that's simply because of the propagation and the uh, conditions at the time and the location of where I am. So I hope this helps if you're uh, looking at getting an AH4, uh, wanted it explained a bit better and um, how I use it in my circumstance. Thanks for joining us and see you on the next one.